all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be testing out a new clear coat i saw this a while back on a video from diecast resurrection so i've made videos on the past about alternatives to the 2k clear coat and this is going to be another video testing out a new clear coat it's the Createx Createx uh, 40, where's the number of this? 4053 high gloss. And we're going to be using the 4013 reducer. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later on. We're going to go to the computer. And this is some uh, examples here. This is a idea that I gave a while back using a spray can that has a like a urethane clear coat you can see it has not turned yellow but it's not very smooth what I do is if you go back and see that video I decan the clear coat and I use a 0.3 needle airbrush to airbrush this let's see if I can zoom in there you go as you can see, it's not very smooth. And this is mint wax. Now, mint wax has worked very nice, especially on colored cars. But on white cars, you can see it turns yellow. I actually painted these two cars with the same uh, paint. The only difference is this one has mint wax. You can see it's a lot smoother, kind of dirty here, something fell on it. The paint looks a lot smoother, but it does turn yellow. So that's the example for today. We're going to be painting these two Lambos and this uh, gasser. One of these has a scrape right there so I'm gonna be using this one uh, to leave it outside for let's see if I could make it a month and test it out see if it turns yellow this one I'm just gonna paint keep it inside I will apply some water slides to uh, test out how the clear coat reacts over a water slide because sometimes a clear coat tends to uh, like wrinkle over a water slide. So I'm gonna be testing that out too. Let's go over to the computer to check out this product. All right, so we're in front of the laptop. I bought this from Spray Gunner. I will leave affiliate links down below if you want to try this out. As you can see, it's available in different sizes at different prices. If you scroll down, they recommend using the 4011 reducer, right? Keep that in mind. Let's jump out to the 4013 window here. And this is right here. They also have it available at different uh, sizes, at different prices. And you can read here, 4013 reducer is a new thinner, which is compliant with jurisdiction, including South Coast AQMD. So let's go over the page, the technical data sheet for Createx for 4013. And let's see what it says here. 4013 reducer is a thinner suitable for use with all Createx paints. 4013 reducer can be used as a substitute for 4011 so you can use 4011 i mean you can use 4013 instead of the 4011 what's the difference so if we come here to back to spray gunner they have a page where they they talk about about all the different reducers that they have it says the 4012 is going away and basically it says here that 4013 the difference is that it has alcohol that's why it's uh 
marked as flammable. It says flammable, so make sure to keep it in a fireproof cabinet. Flammable is a result, result of isopropyl alcohol in this product. It helps to flush water from the plane, flush water from the paint, which reduces drying time on the surface and it also reduces tip drying. That's why some artists prefer to use this reducer when airbrushing. So 4013 is a new, a new uh, reducer that they have available. We're going to be trying it out. And of course I have a Badger Patriot. I bought this a long time ago. It's the 3-in-1. So it comes with the blue knob here. That's the 0.5 needle, but this kit comes with the 0.3 and the 0.7. So if you ever want to get into painting a bigger scale, like 118, you already have the, the 0.7 needle available. Sadly, it's out of stock. I guess you could send them an email, see uh, if they could get it for you. The Badger Patriot 105 with just the 0.5 needle it's also out of stock so if it's out of stock you can guess that you know a lot of people are buying it it's a good quality airbrush and they also have this one which is available it comes with these uh, paints but this one comes with the 0.3 needle not the 0.5 so you got to keep that one in mind the good thing is Badger is a U.S. company based out of Chicago and they have a lot of parts for these airbrush. So for example, I bought this, the high roller trigger for mine. I just swapped it out with the original. It just makes the trigger taller and more comfortable to paint. We'll show you that later. And here, if you come up spray gun on this page, you can see all the parts for all the different Badger uh, airbrushes. So if you go here to the extreme, well, I have the Patriots, the Patriot, and you can here see the, the airbrush broken down with all the parts. And here you can choose which part you're looking for. So if, let's say we go to the needle and super detail, I think is the, the 0.3 and medium is the medium general i think it's the 0.7 badger 51047 this one is not available the thing with the badgers is that they don't they don't put like 0.3 or 0.7 on the airbrush you have to go by the part number so if you zoom in here the 046 will be the 0.7 and the 044 will be the 0.3 and they also go by the color see a black knob here is 0.3 the blue one is the 0.5 the silver color is the 0.7 so my suggestion is you contact spray gunner Customer service and let them know which one you have you want. check it out this one with the number five if you remember correctly is the one with the scratch this one is going to get painted with that new clear coat and it's going to be put in a window this one is the other one is going to be painted with the new clear coat and it's going to be kept off the sunlight the same time as this to see if there's any difference 
I added different type of uh, water slides. The ones on the door are from a laser printer. This one, the flag is from an inkjet printer. Laser, laser. So the number five is from a laser, 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 inkjet. Inkjet are different from laser printers. Many laser printer printed uh, water slides don't have a clear coat. Inkjet water slides must have a, uh, a clear coat over them or the ink is just going to get messed up once you put the water slide in the water to actually apply it. So this one is going to get painted with min wax and it's going to go in the same window as this one. That way we can compare the new clear coat with the Ming wax at the same time. I'm going to do some details here on the back and some details here on the gasser and we're going to start clear coating. I'll be back. All right, so let's talk airbrush before we start painting. This is my Badger 105. This is the, the high roller, I think they call it trigger. See how tall it is. This allows you to press and have more control. See if the trigger is lower, by you pulling just a little, it's uh, a lot more air is gonna go out, right? Not necessary, but I like how it feels. This is the quick disconnect. You're gonna have two options. This one, which is the simple one. If you already have a quick disconnect coupler here like this, it's just one connection here. It goes from that uh, Badger thread to a regular coupler, like that. The other option is using this part right here. And again, there's gonna be links to everything I use down below. You can see the thread inside would go in here and then now on the outside, you can buy one of those cheapo coupler like this one. You see it's much bigger. But same holes, same connection, see? If you already have one of these, it's a lot easier just to get this part. Links are gonna be down below. So let's start mixing the paint.
All right, it's been, it's been I think it's been like 30 minutes while, uh, while I clean the airbrush. I usually touch this and it's not sticky. So I think this is dry, ready to go. So as you saw, I only did two coats and check it out. I could have done three, but we're testing it out right here. It looks fine to me. Yep, let's try. So let me put this two together and the other two are gonna go to the window. All right, check it out. Check out that wet, wet look. I'm impressed. Clear coat did not re react to the water slide. It doesn't matter which one, the inkjet or the laser printed water slide. Check this out. Impressed that it dries so quickly in about 30 minutes. I was able to grab it and put it back together. So I'm definitely recommending the Creatix 4053 high gloss and the 4013 reducer. You can get it spray gunner. I'll leave affiliate links down below if you want to help out the channel. I have some leftover clear coat here. I'm going to leave it here to see if it goes bad or not. It's already mixed, ready to go. So it's August 27, 2022, 8.39 at night. I'll do, I guess I'll do an update like in 15 days and then another one in 30 days to see how the other car is holding up on the window. But I'm thinking it's going to do a lot better than the Ming Wax. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Peace out.